Before we begin an interactive lesson plan, let's first take a casual tour with what the Digitizer Pro does. Once you've installed the program on your computer, you should have two icons on your desktop that look like this. They are Easy Edit and Easy Design. Easy Design is the program we launch in order to create embroidery designs. Please make note that it will take a little bit of time for your Digitizer Pro to load, depending on your PC speed. Once your program has started, you'll be presented with a Getting Started window. We'll have three choices. The first is to open an existing embroidery design or an existing project. The second is to digitize an existing image. This means we would get a graphic image and convert it into an embroidery design. The third is freehand digitizing. With freehand digitizing, you can use lines and create shapes and different fill stitches to create your own freehand design. Let's start with digitizing an existing image. The Digitizer Pro has equipped us with an embroidery album that we can access on our local C drive disk. In the embroidery album, Digitizer Pro has some well-prepared graphic images for us to start with. Let's notice that the files of type that can be brought in to the Digitizer Pro as graphic images jpegs.png.pcx, Windows Metafiles, .emf, and .esp. Let's bring in the butterfly. The Choose Fabric window will appear, and cotton is fine for this example, so we can close this window. You might be wondering where the graphic image of your butterfly is. To view the image, make sure the Display Images button is turned on. And there's our graphic image. Before we can do any digitizing work, we first need to prepare our graphic image. To do this, we click on the graphic image. To be sure that it's activated, you'll see the handles around the graphic image. From here, you can grab the handles holding down your left mouse button and resize the graphic. With the graphic highlighted, our Image Preparation button is now activated. Let's click on the Image Preparation button, and we see another look at our graphic image. There are five colors available in this graphic image. Many times you'll bring in a graphic image, and it may have 256 colors available. Of course, we wouldn't want to stitch out a design with 256 thread changes. That's where the reduction process comes in. If I don't want to use five different colors in my current butterfly design, I can reduce the colors to four. If I want to simplify it even further, I can reduce it to 3. For this example, let's use 4 colors and click the OK button. My graphic image is now prepared for digitizing. Let's explore the easiest way to have the program do the digitizing for us. Of course, the easiest way doesn't have as many choices but we'll get into more details later. I've prepared my graphic image, and now I'm going to click to design instantly. The process begins, and now I have an embroidery design. The embroidery design appears in the window. Yours might look a little different than mine, let me show you the visualizer glasses. Whether the visualizer is on or off, if the visualizer is off, you might see this turquoise view here. 
you can click off of it and still see your embroidery design, but it'll be very flat. If you turn the visualizer on, you'll see a true rendition of what your embroidery design looks like. Let's zoom in just a little so we can take a closer look. The auto design feature did register this as an embroidery design, but it included a background. I don't want the background in there, so I have some choices. I can use my hand tool to highlight the background. An easier way is to go to our object. We can scroll through all of the objects and parts that make up this embroidery design to single them out and make changes. In this instance, I'm going to select the square background. Now I can simply use the delete button on the object type window. I can also view the objects in my embroidery design by their colors rather than all their individual pieces and parts. Let's choose colors. I can highlight all of the yellow at the same time. I can go to the color chart and change the color. I can even choose a particular aspect by color or object and change its properties. I've selected the blue in the butterfly and I'm going to go to Object Details and I'm going to choose the Fill Stitch tab. The default when I used the Auto Digitize feature was a basic weave fill. For something a little more exciting, we might want to explore an embossed fill. An embossed fill has well-decided needle penetrations to get a desired look. The Digitizer Pro has a wealth of patterns. Let's choose patch number 6. We've just added an interesting look to our butterfly. I can even add an outline to the design. I can choose the flyout menu, choose click to outline, and instantly create an outline by clicking within the graphic image. When I choose Click to Outline, the outline will be registered as the color that it saw in the graphic image. Let's go to the Objects view here in the Object menu. You can see all of the lines that I just created. I'm going to highlight them all at once and change them to black. I'm holding down my Control button and clicking on all of the outlines that I want to affect the change to. Now that they're highlighted, I can change the color. Now I have black outlines. Let's see what else we can do. We can also add lettering and change our hoop size. For hoop size, I see that I currently have the standard hoop selected. I can turn off my hoop view or turn it on. To change the hoop, I just click on the drop down and I'm going to use the larger square hoop now. Now let's look at lettering. For lettering, we simply go to Embroidery, Lettering. A very exciting aspect of the Digitizer Pro is that we can now access any of the resident TrueType fonts that are on our computer. This can give you up to thousands and thousands of choices. We simply choose a font and there's no limit on the point size now. Type in our lettering and 